we have the Microsoft Forms web part here. When I first insert the web part, I have two choices. I have, do I want to create a new form or do I want to add an existing form? So I'll go ahead and just go ahead and add an existing form here so you can kind of see what that looks like. So it's got a pretty um, primitive interface here. It actually needs me to give it a web address. So I'm going to go get a web address first. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Microsoft Forms and that opens it up in a new tab. So then from there, I need to get the web address of which form that I want to use. So I'll go ahead and pick this form called Student Check-In and I'll grab that URL to it. So here's my form link. I can shorten the URL if I want, copy that. So now I've copied that to my clipboard. So now that is the web address that it needs here. So then my next choice that I need to make is whether I want to collect responses or show form results. So I'll just say I want to collect responses. That's usually what you want people to do is to fill out a form on the page. 